Welcome everyone, back in and back to the channel. We're hanging out today at the most famous antique mall in Lakeland, the Lakeland Antique Mall. We're going to try and find some new merchandise back there in the Disney section. See if any uh, Splash Mountain props or anything has made it to the mall as of yet. So join us on the mission an adventure here at the mall. If you are new here, please like and subscribe to the channel. And thank you all for watching my little two puppy videos, Princess and Taka. I really appreciate it. And so do they. Let's get started. Do things a little different. We're gonna stop here at this booth. Before we head on back there, see what's new over here for snow globes. And I have not been over here in quite a long time. It looks like there is a lot of new snow globes. And I do not remember seeing this one right here. Let's see if we can find a price. 159. It's Aladdin. Oh, three little pigs. I don't know how good we can see. Try and get the best view we possibly can. I love this Mickey cookie jar right here. $87.90, so $90. It's really cute and adorable, and so is this one. How often do you see that? Nice little retro Mickey in there with Dumbo. Uh, almost missed Tinkerbell in there. A couple of uh, Snow White dwarfs in there. Check that retro one out. Oh, I just seen one below. This one here. That is so cute. I don't know how well you can see Mickey slumbering in there. That's almost as iconic as Princess the other day, laying down so comfy. Booth number 268, of course. Another iconic Star Wars Millennium Falcon. Check out these cool M&Ms hanging out, waiting for a good home. There's one trying to be a, a hidden Mickey up there, but he's a hidden m and m oh there's Mickey right back there another one of my favorite teams Phil Sims of the Giants have some Pittsburgh 375 for this one uh, Hall of Famer I don't see the price on this one three 350 or 550 500. This one is autographed. Looks like 450. Oh, well, that one's autographed also. Right down in, right there. Autograph. There's the price on that one. Autograph. 375. And Phil Sims. There's the tag. 500. And there's the other graph right there. Look at that retro Jets helmet. Packers, Chiefs, Seminoles, Bucks. Lighted case for these miniature helmets. Baltimore Ravens up there. Buccaneers helmet. 375. There's an old Cheez It poster. Let's see what they're asking. $499. Uh, $49.99. So $50 for that little poster. Let's see what kind of baby Yoda and baby group we can find over here. Still got some dollar comics. We're still in row H. 260. God gave me you. 
A little Star Wars droid book right in there. Some aprons. Ah, uh, sports fellows, New York Knicks, Giants, Mets, etc. And on. Jeff Gordon miniature plate. And some shot glasses. Oh, Valentine. Baby Yoda. Shot glasses. Tinkerbell. And some cool and retro McLaren Hot Wheels and Matchbox. Oh, check that one out. Some very retro ones in here. One sixty. Here we go. Check that out right there. Batman, McLaren, Matchbox. Looks like a Charger. So what else we got down in here? Some fire vehicles. Oh, classics. Yes. Ooh, even some more classics. Jurassic Park mixed all, all in here. There's an MG. There's a Ford. It looks like an Opal. Capri. Look at that nice muscle car right there. It's a nice truck. We must be heading in the right direction to all the Disney items. R2 is here greeting us, so we are going the right way. But before we head stop there in the back, I want to see what is new on these shelves. Right in here. Oh, that's some lunch boxes. I don't remember seeing these. Mickey saying hi to. Oh, it's adorable. Check that out right there. What we got here? So Mickey has a paintbrush. Supposed to be painting, but it's way too clean. Six dollars. <laughs> that is definitely worth six dollars. Oh, what we got over here? The little goblets. Twelve dollars. Twelve. Yoda back in there. I'm sure that is. 12, $10 for that one. So let's check out Chewy. All right, Chewy was 12. Okay. And I see some Mickey plates here 93, 1991. 92 Christmas one try to take this out 94 22 dollars some clocks back in there there's a little smaller ones 1982 Mother's Day ten dollars Lady and the Tramp down in there. There's a few of them down in there. We finally made it to the back of the corner here. And then we're going to investigate a little more. See if we can find any of the Splash Mountain merchandise.
All right, we found the Disney Express train, which is back up and running. There's Peter Pan. I have not spotted anything as of yet. But as you know, there's a lot to see in this mall. And there's a few other malls that do have a lot of Disney stuff also in Kissimmee. So I'm going to go there during the week and see if any of that merchandise has made it. Our props have made it to any of those antique stores in Kissimmee. Check that little box out. I don't remember seeing that before, but it has been a while since we've been here. Check these Snow White stamps and friends. $75. Nice glass frame. I think I said Cinderella. It was this Snow White and Friends? This one also. Disney stamped Friends. $75 for that one also. Alright, so we're back here. Recycling the magic. We still have another few booths to go, so we never know what we're going to find and if we find what we came hunting for. There's a nice cool picture right there. That's nice wood frame. Uh, looks like $16.95. That actually fits that whole decor of that print inside of that frame. Here's some of the construction hats. <laughs> I do not recall seeing these in the past. There's a 60th anniversary construction hat. 375 for that one. This one here, 395. Right, we made it over to the next booth over here. Vault collectibles. Let's see what we can find over here. Here's the iconic castle. Bunch of Mickey and friends. Oh, and this was actually a prop used to display. $850. Oh, I see a train back in there. We still have Christmas decor. So if you want to get ready for this coming year with any Disney Christmas merchandise, there's not a lot, but there's enough to definitely brighten your house for the new year or for the Christmas year. See what's back in here. I never really make it into these little nooks and crannies back here of the mall because there is just so much to see. That is a cool lamp. Let me see if we can see it's from. There we go. Uh, Disney Carnival uh, original prop, a oh, boardwalk, three forty nine, so three fifty, two seventy nine. Oh, they actually have matching one. Hmm, different lampshade though. I wonder if they did it on purpose or that's how it was. If anybody knows, please leave a comment. If you know that's how that was set up. Christmas. Slinky Dog Dash. Hollywood Studios. There's Mater. Lightning McQueen. $89.99. Or 69. These tags are so small. 69. And 69. 
Here's another original art. Where was this one from? Boulder Ridge Wilderness 125. They're asking for that. And put these around your house. Make a game out of it. Find the, the hidden Mickeys. Here's some stormtroopers. Imperial forces. And this one here. This is from Toys R Us. $24.99. Star Wars now here. Well, let's see what's in these little boxes. A bloom kit. Shrek glasses. And a bunch of props from Universal. And that's where that was. Some Macy's Day Parade props. Here's some candle holders. Two of them. $95 each. If you need some candle holders, there is two of them. And that is from the Haunted Mansion. And there's some other Haunted Mansion stuff. I don't know if that little guy is supposed to be there or not, but he sure is. Haunted Mansion plates. And we did find a matching lamp with the white lamp shade. And there is another one. But again, it's a different lamp shade. But there is three of these Mickey lamps. Four. There is a set of four of these. All right, we have a few more. To go through, have a Coke and a smile. Where's this from? Oh, wow. Universal Studios Beetlejuice house door. Who here remembers Beetlejuice at Universal? Every show I went to three or four shows a day, I personally could not get enough of that show. And then they made room for the Fast and Furious, which I have not ridden that yet. I have not heard. Oh, a 50-50. I'm not going to say anything. 50-50. Uh, some like it and some don't. But definitely the Beetlejuice, speaking of Beetlejuice, the Beetlejuice show, very iconic. And speaking of Fast and Furious, Jurassic World. All right, so we have not, as of yet, come across any Splash Mountain props. Or even merchandise. Like I said, there is a few other Disney uh, stores, antique malls in Kinsemi. So we will check those out to make sure that those props did not go there first before here. But we will definitely keep an eye out for all that Splash Mountain merchandise to end up here. And I have a feeling it's going to be very soon. I do not ever remember seeing a little golden book haunted mansion edition. The haunted mansion. What are they asking for? The seven ninety nine for that. Oh, I see a hidden Mickey. Floating up in the air. 
Let's check out down in here. Nice cookie jar, a little Santa cookie jar. Mickey toaster. Some puzzles. That's actually a pin set. Right it there. Pinocchio puzzle, $28. Jungle book, turtle talk. A little Mickey down in there. Check that out, wow. Let's see what else we got in here. And once again, you can't see everything. Um, you'd be spending hours in here. And I am starting to get sleepy. So we're, that's cute. So we are gonna call it a day here at the Lakeland Antique Mall. So once again, thank you everyone for watching, hanging out with us. A little short 20, 25 minute video. Almost missed that. Mickey Mouse Disco. Talk about a giant ninja turtle. That's cool. And I see Winnie the Pooh back there in the background. Oh, to go along with the theme of the Haunted Mansion, check this Scooby-Doo phone out. I'm a big Scooby-Doo fan and I have never seen this phone before and I wonder what year this is from. They want 125, which is pretty reasonable, I think, for that. Some other Disney merchandise. Some more wall decor. And I do see some new merchandise back in this section. And this is where we're at. I usually end here, but I always kind of change things up. But I do like to see what's new over in this section because everything is handmade crafts back in here and they do I personally think wonderful work I'm going to show you this desk when we close it out but before we do we're going to just have a little as my friend Drew says a little zen moment I'll try and read this one the best that I can today's a good day Today, have a great day. Smile more. Worry less. To be the very best version of you. To do more of what makes you happy every day. To be positive and regret nothing. To be humble. To work hard every day may not be good, but find something good in every day. And how ironic, when I first started this channel a few years ago, this is was my line at the end. So I'm going to leave it going a little retro back when I first started this channel laugh love and live thank you all once again and we will see you in the next video here from the Lakeland Antique Mall you have a wonderful day and stay positive positive.